of things I want to share for those of you who think about predictable revenue is one of the things that I really got really good in place is um, our, our, uh, our, our, our opportunity pipeline. So our opportunity pipeline goes, you know, new lead, call one, call two, call three, call four. And we'll actually go, we'll go four, four or five and out on a new lead before we, uh, we contact it. Then let's say that person says, hey, I'm really interested, now's not a good time, call me back in a month. We'll put them in like an educating stage where they say, call me in a month. We'll still call them every week, let them know we're excited about calling them in a month. <laughs> All right? <laughs> so, Greg, I know you want me to call you next you know, next month, but I'm just calling you right now to say how excited I am to talk to you next month when I'm supposed to call you. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward I'll to I'll talk to you in 30 days. <laughs> What's wrong with that, right? Nothing. So that's called the educating stage where you you, you tell them we call exciting. Well, and, and yes, and and the companion to that is that it, it is a legitimate education stage because you well, have a sub email sequence that goes out with videos. Yeah. They're all client case studies and testimonials. Well, it's like called it's the indoctrination room. campaign. So yeah. you have to you have to indoctrinate someone, uh, for lack of a better Kim Jong Un reference. But you have to <laughs> you have to indoctrinate someone to your systems and to your model and to what you do. Right. So when you first have a new lead come in, you put them through the indoctrination campaign, and then the whole goal of that um, of that uh, marketing response representative, the person responding to marketing, the uh, that's the term they use in Silicon Valley. Uh, in other circles, they call them just a lead follow up person. You could call them an executive assistant. In real estate, they call them inside sales assistants. But the point is that marketing response representative, their job is literally to take leads to appointments. That's it. That's their job. Right. Mm -hmm. And then their job is to bring it to appointment set. Now, once that appointment is set, it goes on the calendar of the sales consultant, right? And then a day before, the marketing response rep confirms that appointment. So they actually show up, which is really good, like a doctor, all right? Now, they, you know, the person does that call. And if the call goes good, the salesperson accepts that opportunity into their pipeline. And that's how you measure marketing. You don't measure marketing by leads, Right, anyone can get you leads. Mm -hmm. You know, I make the joke. You know, you know, uh, you know, I can come back from a conference to get five really good leads of people that said, "Yeah, I want to hire you." Where the guy at the other booth got thousand leads, and the offer was win a free iPad. Which leads are more valuable? Yep. You know, here's a list of people who want a free iPad. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, anyways, that person you know does that sales presentation. And then if it's a good lead, they accept it in their pipeline. That's called a sales qualified lead. Sales is qualified lead, and it's good. Mm -hmm. And marketing is defined as how many sales qualified leads it deliver, not how many leads it bring in just the opt-ins online.